Welcome to a Command and Conquer cast between a DK in the yellow with I believe Nod versus a Burn 15 in the blue with that would make him GDI then. No, it's not versus a GDI. I got them mixed up. Oopsie. So, multiple minigunners coming out for DK and so for Burn 15. Economy seems to be on par. Really standard opening for both players. Power plant in the back so you can get more efficient uh, Tiberium in the back. And we see the same thing for Burn 15. Wow. A lot of Grenadiers coming out. No flamethrowers yet for Burn 15 though. Alright. And Minigunner goes down. Okay. Sure. So, triple uh, refinery out for both players now. A little bit later for burn 15. And efficiency seems to be on par. I mean, maybe this is slightly more efficient because you don't have to go around your refinery. But that's really just nitpicking. So, minigunners. Hey, there's the flamethrower. Boom, it's dead. Good job. So, are we going to see an airstrip? Not yet. And we don't see a weapons factory either. So, a, well, why did I once again think this was the Nod player? There is the weapons factory. Alright. And the airstrip. It's because I had them mixed up that I didn't want to place it. So, flamethrower going down. So, medium things as expected from our GDI player and buggies as expected from the not player. Pretty standard thus far. Refinery out soon, probably. And burn 15. Taking good engage engagement against uh, Grenadiers with buggies, of course, and because they're up against GDI, they also get out bikes, which are good against tanks. On this side, just triple tanks and oh, just silos. Okay. If Burn 15 can destroy this one, that could actually hurt quite a bit. Because then they can't place their uh, refinery. And there come the bikes and buggies. They're slowly but surely running in. They're going to get destroyed. There's no reason to worry if you're DK here. I'm not sure why Burn15 tried that. They didn't have their units closed. Maybe it was just really bad pathing. I'm not sure. But this is a waste. Throwing in so many bikes, even though they have tanks in defense, I mean, I, I don't understand, but it's probably bad pathing then. Because if I wouldn't even have done that, then it probably didn't happen the way it seems. So, bikes over here. Going to do some damage, but will have to run away, because otherwise they're dead. Alright, same thing over here. Bikes running in. Once again, now five bikes are here. That's enough to take down the weapons factory. As long as it, they don't get destroyed too quickly. Which it seems like they will just barely be destroyed in time. So, DK, once again, save his weapons factory. Okay, good. But once again, five bikes. It's not full health yet. So group up quickly. Now you have six even. Six is more than enough, but now two tanks right around the weapons factory. Only now going to focus, but that's too late. Now it's dead. Simple as that. Sold off, maybe. Yeah, it was in time, I'm pretty sure. And over here, the medium tanks are going to destroy, or at least try to destroy, one of the refineries for burn 15 but bikes are running in because they're fast 
and will do a decent job, but can't really do deal with these minigunners as well. And running around the things and difficult, right? If you're like, if you have a round even number of bikes compared to the enemy tanks, then the tanks will always win. But oh well, bikes are doing way better than expected. But we'll still go down in the end. And big booms from the flamethrowers. Nicely done. Pretty sure that was cost effective. And flame tanks. Well, eh, they're hurting themselves. Which is annoying. But still, flame tanks. We want to see a big ball of fire here or here. Not yet here. And this side, we will see it. And this side. They are crushed and don't really get good hits in. Flame tanks, compared to other not units, are of course really slow, but they're still faster than tanks, I'm pretty sure. At least medium tanks. So, where are you going with them? Right into the weapons factory. I mean, you could maybe take that down. You are, of course, flame tanks, which are good against buildings, and it does go down. Nicely done, burn 15. You do lose quite a bit in the process, but 2k for a weapons factory. While losing like 2, like 800 cost, 900 cost. Flame tanks, it's not the worst, but also not great. Over here, oh, oh not in time. But it was a good explosion. Didn't actually save that airstrip. Too bad. A lot of bikes. Now you don't need your buggies because you have flame things. That's the thing. So. This side just minigunners being blown up by tanks. Sure. Okay. This could deal some damage. But where do you want to do that? Taking down a refinery makes sense. Taking down harvesters makes sense. Why are you running? Where are you running to? Here. This refinery is the one you're going to take down because it's the most efficient. I think that's the logic. DK seller still floating a lot of resources while Burn 15 sold off their construction yard. So, double weapons factory over here. Really quite safe. But of course, not really quick to uh, reinforce the front lines. But that's not going to matter much, is it? I mean, flame tank goes down, burn. What do you have? You do have like one hand of nod, and still like four refineries. DK has more. So yes, you did get the bonus from selling off your construction yard but that's not going to happen is it that's not going to be enough DK will just stall it out a little bit longer getting another 1600 Tiberium there getting another 1600 uh, 800 here about to have like two more full harvesters and then your advantage is pretty much gone already floating Less than DK is floating, even though they have a higher possible production. So, the power plant does not even go down, and I'm pretty sure this is going to be it. Harvester does go down though, which is really nice for burn 15. But what can you do? Can you use your not mobility? Because that's the main thing right now. Tank driving over the minigunners, and we could even see like more minigunners or even uh, grenadiers for DK just to throw over there and destroy all of the minigunners at once. Now, flame tanks coming out, I mean, sure, but I don't think it's in time. Flame tank. It goes down in a big ball of fire, but it doesn't kill a lot. 
these bikes focusing on many gunners doesn't make sense either. Here, oh, flame tank does get a couple of hits, but I don't even think that was enough to make cost. Here, more mini gunners going down, but this is a lot of tanks, and you have less bikes than the enemy has tanks. Here, even more tanks. I'm sorry, burn, but it's over. You lost, and that's annoying. Game is passed, but it is inevitable that. DK is going to win. So, well, I'm that you made it this far into the video. Consider watching the video in your lower left. But that's all I'm going to have for you today. And I'll see you in another video. Bye. Not surprising since DK has only got one loss this season.